Praise God. Uh, let me uh, say a big thank you to uh, Pastor Podju and Pastor Tony for this opportunity. I don't take it for granted. Please let us honor them this morning. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, if you will open with me in your Bibles, uh, Lamentations, it is chapter 3 and verse 23. And it's a text that many of you will know uh, because we also sing it as a song. Uh, it says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. Has anyone heard that before? The steadfast love, it's from verse 22 actually. It says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And what, uh, sorry, not Paul, what uh, Jeremiah, the writer, is doing here, amen, is he's showing us one attribute of God's mercy. Because if you look in verse 22, he's essentially making two statements in one. Number one, he's saying that the steadfast love of the Lord does not cease. Number two, he's saying that his mercies never come to an end. In other words, the mercy of God is the steadfast love of God. Uh, and in that we see one attribute that is important to take home. God's mercy is steadfast. God's love is steadfast. The word steadfast means to be firmly loyal. What this means then is that God blesses us not because of us, but in spite of us. God is not waiting on you to fulfill your promises to him so he can fulfill his promises to the church. I hope you understand that. A lot of us come to God with uh, the mindset that, you know, maybe God is, uh, is like that guy who just broke your heart or that guy whose heart you just broke. <laughs> You know, and so you feel like, oh, you know, God is waiting for you to come so he can deal you back with the same hand uh, with which you dealt uh, him. God, God understands our frailties. God knows that we are uh, but flesh. Amen. And God's love waits on us to grow. God's love waits on us to mature. Uh, I'm saying this because if you read prior uh, in Jeremiah's text, you almost get the sense that we serve a God who has mood swings, you know, who borders on schizophrenia, who, uh, who blesses you depending on how he wakes up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? He says, I'm the one, uh, let, let, me, let me just look for that text. If you see verse 1, for instance, he says, I'm the one who has seen affliction under the rod of his wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. And when life hits you at times, you tend to go into this pity party uh, where it looks like you're the only one going through stuff uh, and nobody has gone through the kind of stuff that you're going through. Amen. You know, and we get into all those prayers. You know, God, is this how I'm going to be? You know, God, what's going on? You know, and even wrong theology. Some of us think that uh, it's because we've not praised God enough. You know, and you have this Owambe mentality uh, towards the whole thing. You know that if you praise him enough and call his name three times, yeah, and then he's going to answer you and say, oh, you know, and, and come through and stuff like that. And, you know, you almost get the sense that God has self-esteem issues. <laughs> you know, and, and that if you, you know, if you spray him enough, <laughs> and if you sing enough, you know, then he's going to start tapping his feet. You've heard that one before, haven't you? Amen. And that if you call him by his deepest names, he's going to stand up from the chair. <laughs> yeah, you better have a good DJ. <laughs> because sometimes life will come with no music and no sound. And what you need to do is recall to mind the goodness of God. He said, these things I recall to mind and therefore I have hope. Had it not been for his goodness, amen, I would have been consumed. It's important that you build a track record with God, that you make a habit of itemizing 
and articulating God's goodness towards you. What this does is that it builds our faith. Amen. This is what stood David, for instance, in good stead. He says, if God saved me from the lion and he saved me from the bear, then Goliath is simply next in line. He wasn't seeing, uh, you know, a nine foot tall giant. He wasn't seeing a threat. He was just seeing another victim of God's mercy towards you. Amen. Another victim that was going to fall. Amen. Another challenge that was going to be overcome like the past ones you've been overcoming. When you think deeply, you know that God has been good. He may not have done everything according to your own timelines, but you are still standing. But you are still here. But this is 2022. You haven't gone down. You haven't gone under. Amen. That business hasn't collapsed. You, you don't even know how you made it through the last year. The cruise of oil did not dry up. The bowl of meal did not fail. Somehow you are here. It's because God's love is steadfast. Amen. God's love is steadfast. It is steadfast. It is firmly loyal. God's love is like the father of the prodigal son, you know, who is waiting by the window every morning for his son to come back. We all talk about the guy coming uh, to his mind uh, and, you know, finding his way back home. And we forget that as he was going back home, the father was by the window waiting for him. Amen. That is steadfast love. That is love not because of you, but in spite of you. Amen. That is love. Is there anybody here you've made promises to God in the past and you said, God, if you just do this one thing, I'm going to serve you, to choke you. To... <laughs> I'm going to bless you. Amen. Any, anybody guilty here? Ah, okay. But have you seen God's mercy since then? So you realize God wasn't waiting on you. Amen. Or you made God a promise. God, if you do this thing, I'm going to give two million naira to the church. Amen. And you did not give it. And you realize the church has still been growing. Amen. God didn't say, you know, guys, I'm not going to bless you because Tunde promised me two million naira. Just wait. Once he fulfills his promise to me, then I will come through for you. Somebody say God's love is steadfast. Say God's love is steadfast. He said it is new every morning. It is not renewed every morning. It is not replenished every morning. It is new. It is as brand new as it was yesterday, as it will be tomorrow. You cannot out offend God. He loves you so much that he gave you the one thing that mattered most, his only son. And in that, he has given us all things. Amen. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen.